Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today we have a service call that we had water coming onto the floor. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So today we are working on a packaged water source heat pump. I have worked on this unit in the past and what happens is that this unit freezes up due to the evaporator fan motor not running. Sometimes it starts and everything is fine and sometimes it doesn't and that is leading me to believe that we might have a faulty capacitor. What makes this job extremely difficult is that I cannot get to the evaporator fan motor or the capacitor. This is the unit here. This is the auxiliary pan. You just have to bend this out of the way just so you can get to the control panel and you have a tight space to work with. The issue is that on this end, the evaporator fan motor and capacitor is inside here and the panel is on this end. And there's a wall there, you can't, you can't get in there. So many obstacles in the way. So the idea here is to, as we started, remove a couple of these clips out of the way so we can make some space here and I want to cut a hole into this wall and hopefully right in between here I can get inside and replace the capacitor. Took off a bunch of these hangers and we kind of just taped it to the side. So we have a little bit of work here. My idea is to cut a hole over here so maybe I can squeeze in there, open up that cover and get to that capacitor. Got my guy cutting the hole right now. I got the first layer out, got some fiberglass inside, got a second layer in there. We want to make as much access as possible so I can set up a ladder here and try to get in there and do some acrobatics up there. <laughs> well, it's starting the way. Yeah. Now we ran into a bit of an issue. This back wall here is actually part of the first floor cut through here we actually made a cut inside of the ballroom right here is the ceiling of the ballroom so if we can't work in this little space it's a little crazy there's a little return air duct on the other end might set up a ladder to get in but it's gonna be very difficult so I thought when we were working we we're above that grill in the ceiling which we were but if you look at right here that's one of our cuts <laughs> that's really bad luckily we didn't cut through the painting they are redoing this whole area so that's great luckily we didn't cut through that but that hole we cut right there we can't do it we're gonna make a huge opening in here and it's just a problem wow another thing is to possibly take out this grill and then work in there but then it's deep in there and that's a tight space to work in as well this is becoming a very difficult job and we got to do some brainstorming now we set up a ladder we got this grill off it is so high up there. Let's see what kind of access we have. It's really kind of crazy. So high up here. So that's the unit right there. Yep, I should be able to get it through here. Oh my God, there's so much dust in that panel. Let's go ahead and try to get that cover off. The dust on this unit. Oh my gosh, let's find the screw. I can't even find the screw. Now that is a beautiful thing. This is the guy we have to get to. 10 microfarads. If you look closely, the fan blade is spinning, but that's from all the air coming through the ductwork. That fan is not actually running. All right, so the power's off. What I'm gonna do is isolate it. Just pull this thing out. This thing was so dusty and had such poor terminals. It might have bad connection, but I have a new capacitor here. Semi-microfarads, hopefully this does the trick. 
Got the new capacitor in there. Hoping it's gonna start this motor. All right, motor is definitely running. Pulling two amps. This is the, got my amp meter wrapped around the hotline. And that's looking pretty good. Fan motor is running. Should close this up and test for temperatures and check the pressures because once this compressor starts and this cover's open, it's gonna freeze. So I can see the coils now def uh, finally defrosted. Fan is running. Let's go ahead and close the cover and see how this unit operates. But that capacitor is definitely my suspect. All right, we're back at the unit. We're gonna replace the filters, got the system running, and we're gonna do the dollar test. And there you go. We're sucking in air. That means that fan motor is running. Let's go ahead and change those filters and check the pressures on this system. The compressor did start. System's running. Compressor is no longer freezing up, it's sweating. Got a 61 PSIG back pressure, 190 head, 51 degree suction line. This thing is looking good. Fans running. Just gonna change the filters right now and we should be good to go. Everything's looking good. Space is cooling off. We got good temperatures, we got good pressures. We just gotta clean up this area. The access is terrible, but it is what it is. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe.